So I'm just out in my yard. Uh, a lot of people forget that you can create your own rainbow if you just turn on a sprinkler. Um, and if the sun is angled the right way, only when you're outdoors, you will get a rainbow. So that's the first question. Why can you not simulate a rainbow indoors? Uh, there's a stipulation. You can create a rainbow indoors, but you need a mirror. You need a mirror to, to do a science test and create a, a rainbow inside. So I beg the question, if you need a mirror indoors, what's providing the mirror when you are outdoors? And I don't know if you see this, but it really doesn't matter. It really does not matter um, about the water, where the mist is. It doesn't matter what my position to it is. The curve does not change. It is a fixed hologram in space. Now, modern science says what's happening is an optical illusion. It's forming on your eyeball. And I guess in this case, they would say it's the camera's sensor. <laughs> but they say that a rainbow is happening on your eyeball. You're having your own unique experience. When you see a rainbow, the person standing next to you won't have the same experience. That's what they claim. Because they say each water droplet is creating a prism that is taking the white light and separating it out into all the different colors. I don't think that makes any sense, guys. I think what's actually happening is that each water droplet of, the, of, the, of this 3D field, each water droplet is acting as its own lens. And so this lens is going to be slightly different from this lens. Not that each water droplet is projecting its own rainbow. That's totally absurd. So each water droplet is a lens and it exists on a 2D plane. Right? I mean, I can walk right through it. Here, I'll walk right through it. No, I've got my camera. That's a really stupid idea. But um, we've got a 3D field of, of vapor, right? This is 3D going back and forth, but the rainbow only appears on this 2D X, Y axis. And so the sun is there, and the sunlight is providing one line of sunlight. If it's a 2D line on a 3D spectrum of vapor points, Modern science says that there should be thousands or millions of rainbows all along this axis. But there's not. There's just one rainbow on a 2D surface. So that means that one line is converging here and another line is converging somewhere else. There is a mirror when you are outside to create the rainbow. And that mirror is the dome. It's catching sunlight and it's meeting itself to create all the various colors. It collides in the water droplet, serves as a lens, and the slight varying, uh, variations of angle creates the colors of the rainbow. A rainbow proves that there's a dome above your head.